I don't look so good. Coming from you, Mr. Twiggledy and Twiggledy Legs. Jesus Christ. There are skeletons with more meat on their bones than you. Ooh, I get to pick and fondle through Katie Berry's bush. I'm sorry, is that is that a bit much? Is that a bit strong for an opening? <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I will destroy you. I like this guy's spirit. I really do. No, 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 no. I'm gonna kill you. Oh my god, I actually killed a rabbit with my bare fucking hands. Suck my knob. Come here, Mr. Wabbit. You ain't getting to- No, you are not getting to your little goddamn hole in the ground. Seriously, you will die by my hands. I am a wildling and I shall savage the shit out of you. I love this guy's spirit just screaming, I will destroy you. To any wildlife he's bloody chasing, it's like the ultimate warrior just dropped into the middle of the Amazonian rainforest. He will fuck up anything he finds and fight it to the death. You, you, were, you were right next to a hole and you didn't go in it, seriously. It's okay to invade the home of another of your goddamn brothers in order to survive the night, you poor fool. Speaking of which, night's coming. Oi, get here, you cheeky little sneakster. A beefalo. You know, if we painted you black and yellow and gave you a little bit of a pointy tail, you could be a bee fellow. I may not have exactly what I need in the term of a campfire, an axe and a pickaxe and all that stuff, but I do have my own little personal natural flashlight. Only if we were going to go for a couple of things that weren't so, so very natural and, uh, met our more animalistic desires, I'd be crafting myself an unnatural fleshlight. Ring? Thing? I'll take it, I guess, along with every last one of these flowers. I'm sure I won't be absolutely buggered for this. I forgot I could just hold A and pick all of this up. I forgot how convenient this game is, and if you're gonna scream at me how dare you play this game with a goddamn joypad, then you... You're mean! And my torch just ran out moments before night is about to fall. No thank you. Keep that shit alive and open, please. Really don't want to die. I can't believe I did not find a single stone in order to- Oh my god, this is gonna end poorly for me. I know my torch is gonna run out the very moment that I need it. How have I not found a single stone? Am I dumb for not finding one? I found it! At long last I found it! You know, some flint after all this time? Oh no, 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 Okay. See, that was what I was worried about happening. It almost goddamn did. This, ladies and gentlemen, is why you need to be more prepared and actually bloody have a source of light that is not a simple stick on fire. Well, that being said, I could easily just light that and then have a source of light. I should have done that a lot sooner, to be honest. What the fuck is this? Plugged sinkhole. I don't want to fuck with that. But I'm gonna. Hey, I made it to the second day! I'm clever, man. Sort of, but not really. Look at all these things I'm finding now. I'm just finding rocks out and about in the wild. The one direction I went to, there wasn't a single goddamn rock. Dwayne Johnson was so far out of fucking work, he went back to the WWE for a couple of weeks. And now we ask ourselves the... <laughs> Ever-present question of how many rock jokes can I make by the end of this episode? The awkward moment where I'm starved more for resources than I am actual bloody food. Why are there just dead pig heads around here? The fuck is this? Amnesia, a feast for pigs? Get it? Because it's don't starve. I'm fawny. And if I was smart and resourceful, I would have taken those heads off of the damn sticks, cooked the motherfuckers, and then had myself a little bit of brain bacon. But, uh... That probably wouldn't end well for anybody, would it? All I bloody need is to find Dwayne Johnson or Stone Cold. I need a rock of some form to bloody take apart so I can make myself a goddamn campfire and live happily ever after and cook my food and stay in safety and not be fucked by the ever present darkness. Because I believe in a thing called life. Oh man, I, I've actually, I, I've, I've made it to the big leagues. I, I, I've made a fire pit. I'm no longer shit out of luck. I really need to find an animal that's big, kill it, fuck it, and eat it. Maybe not specifically in that order. Because, you know, I'd prefer a hot date. I mean, in all fairness, the only time a man should ever be eating fucking petals is when it's a euphemism for a woman's downstairs flower. Is that too far? We'll find out today. It was a damn good thing this fire pit it makes it so I cannot accidentally stand on the fire and set myself alight. Because if I was Solaire and I was searching for my own personal son and I lost my damn mind, that is the first step I would likely take. Literally. Foot first right into the fucking flames. I now have manure so I can fertilize all my stuff. Hello, Beefalo! I, it's really tempting to attack him, but I know that won't end well for me a goddamn all. No way. And here we see the Beefalo in his natural environment, screaming, happy, ever-present, loving life, enjoying the day-to-day, -day, and walking toward me, and he's about to eat my face. Well, hello, frog. How are you? I'm gonna kill you. Come here, you little- Ah, oh, that's a bad idea. Don't you take my stuff? They're taking my stuff! Ladies and gentlemen, note to self, never attack a bunch of frogs! Jesus, they're more vicious than a pack of wolves! Maxwell's statue? 
What the hell is this doing out here? Why is there a bunch of free stuff? Why the hell do I not have more inventory space at this point? I now have a grass suit. Aloha mo. I now have a pretty parasol. I am officially Princess Petch. I can whack the shit out of things with a pretty parasol. <laughs> I can use a little dainty umbrella as a weapon. Come here, Kerr, I'm gonna beat the shit out of you. How long has that been there? Have I just been leaving that behind? I left my pickaxe as well. What the? Am I going insane? I'm going insane, aren't I? There's a, there's a, there's a, there's a, there's a, there's a what the? There's a weird wibbly wobbly thing. What the? Is that the link to the past Dark World version of P.D. Piranha? Rabbit, come here. Hunt the goddamn rabbit. Seriously, I feel like Elmer Fudd, and if I fucking let this thing goddamn go, I'll be Elmer fuck up. Come here! I should probably feel like a monster for, uh, killing that poor defenseless creature for simply existing in front of me, but quite frankly, my dear, I don't give a Rob Van Dam. What is this shadow thing? Get away from me! Seriously, you look like a giant bloody cyst just walking about with glow-in-the-dark eyes! I don't need that in my life. A pig house? Little pig. Little pig. Let me, 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 me come in. Not by the hair of your chinny, chin, chin. Oh, never mind. The pig's here. Hello. Too cl Oh, sorry. Sorry, personal space. F forgive me. I really need to find a bit of gold or whatever in order to actually make my sodding sliders machine so I can progress in life. Otherwise, I'm losing my damn mind for no real reason at all. Like, look. I need gold. How the hell do I find gold out in the middle of nowhere? I'd have better luck fishing for a goddamn giant basking shark inside John Goodman's asshole. What the hell is that? That slender with the scraggliest of beards. Cracking. Oh, considering my insanity at this point and the bloody mess I have become. Considering the bloody resources I'm currently gathering. I think it's safe to say, man, you're not looking fucking good. There you go, I've got a straw hat. Suck my knob. And I'll cover up my receding hairline and declining sanity. Are those little black bonnie rabbits? Okay, it's time to fight to the death. Monster meat? I'm losing my goddamn mind, aren't I? Is that a bunch of spiders chasing the pig, man? It is, isn't it? You can do it, man. I believe in you. Just use your karate. Pork chop em. I found a shovel! I don't know how, but I did! What happened to those pack of frogs? Did they... did they leave this earth? Did they all lick the bucket? I can add poo to the fire. Oakley doakley! I didn't know this had multiple uses. I think it's safe to say I just got manure for my money. <laughs> you know what they say about your fear of the dark? You've, you've just gotta sit in it for a bit and the fear shall fade! Cause I've been through the desert on a horse with no name And it's good to get out of my brain In the desert, I don't remember my name Man, it's getting pretty hard to not go insane Hello, Shadow! Oh shit, it's actually real to me now! I'm being attacked by the darkness! I believe in a thing called love just... Listen to the rhythm of the axe, there's a chance we can hit it now and we can kill it till the sun goes down. I'm a survivor, I'm a... And here we see the corpse in its natural environment, the grave. And on that note, ladies and gentlemen, I think I'll be ending the episode. Seeing as all of you wanted me to actually play this, I will pose the question, stay or slay? I clearly went for a more joke video here as opposed to an actual doing what the game wants me to. So, if you want me to continue this, I promise to actually play it properly in the future. If you do want to see more of this, then please do like the video to let me know. So, seeing as my content has come to a close, I advise you to check out some of the other content creators that are featured above. For instance, Tomato Gaming with his absolutely fantastic editing style and hilarious humour. Chad Sonic with, <laughs> honestly, the best reactive videos I've ever seen. I stayed up till about five in the morning because I was waiting for something to render, watching nothing but that, and it put the biggest smile on my face. Give it a watch. Or maybe you want to see No More Heroes from Finpire, or the thousand subscriber celebration from Hearts Bros. Or hell, maybe you want to check out Seth Orvan's new series that he's put out, specifically because people like you went over there to watch him. His voice is incredible, and I honestly think his content is going to improve drastically in the future. And it's already pretty goddamn good to begin with. And one final thing, I humbly request you follow me on Twitch, Twitter, and my alternate channel. But that aside, I'd like to think that you did indeed endure this, and do you want to see more of it, and assuming that you do, please do like the video to let me know, Dan, assuming that you did, then I think it's safe to say that despite the name of this game, the true goal isn't don't starve. It's don't starve your bloody sanity. <laughs> That wasn't really much of a joke, that was really just saying what the real purpose of the game is in the long run. I, that's not a joke. It's, it's just true.